Jenna. Ah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Kenya Online Media, your number one source of entertainment news, is back with a bang and with a new face. My beautiful name is Eve Nyaga, and I'm so excited to be taking you with me on this beautiful journey, you know, just giving you impactful interviews, fun and entertaining interviews of your favorite celebrities across the globe. And our first guest is this lady who has been trending so much online because what we make confessions zao, you know, I'm telling her their deepest, darkest secrets and there have been also allegations against her. So let's not cut to do ukweli kwa api, uongo kwa api and get to know more about her. And I'm talking about the one and only Kemunto. Let's get to it. I know you're wondering, oh, what to do with So today, to go to the Kahawa Wendani. And like I said earlier, I am here with Kemunto, you know. And we are here visiting a man who has been adversely affected by a chronic UTI. We are visiting him, just showing him support and just getting to know about his condition. But before we even get to that, let's get to talk to Kemunto at Wambieni Nani and just clear all these allegations that have been going on. Kemunto, how are you? Um, I'm fine. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! It's so nice to meet you. To meet you. Nice meeting you too, Eve. All right. So I'm here. What's your name? Well, Kemunto is basically an entrepreneur, a businesswoman, and an upcoming influencer, and a person who has a heart for um, encouraging, motivating young generation. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, beyond, you know, what we have seen on social media, I'm on a toilet, yeah, story, you know, like you've, you've just blown up in the last, like, five days. Well, this started, like, um, on 2022, but it was uh, something different. Here, Juzi Nae, eh, it was all about confessions. Uh, that's why I came to uh, Limelight. That's how it all started. To pay your story, 2022, you're going to find any. Eh, well, hey, hey, my city girls, 2022, I was, uh, I was, I was helping women, mm -hmm. ladies, uh, young city girls, walikuwa nafanya mambo zao, unajua zile za hapa na pale, and uh, so I was advising them, helping them, um, catch up with life and uh, knows ways uh, to hustle, where and where to hustle. Mm -hmm. Tukisema kuhasso, what are we even talking about? Eh, hey, let me break it down now. Eh, hey, hustling. Hmm? I mean, uh, uh, the title city girl means be, um, a lady who's uh, going out and about to get what they want. So I'm a city girl. I know how to get this uh, influential potential men. You know, we still need a clarification. You know, what is this? Like potential men, what are we doing, you know? Um... Per se, um, it's, a, it's a transactional business. Mm -hmm. So you give me, I give you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, everything about City Girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So um, in light of that, unajua, once these stories are confession, zilianza ku come out, kumekuwa na so many allegations about you. You know what I want to say? Because I think I even told you this. I asked somebody, who is this Kemunto? You know what they told me? Kemunto. You know <laughs> that Kemunto has been allegedly, this is just an allegation, yes. you know, spreading HIV. And uh, she has literally, you know, slept with like 50 men and... Let's clarify this. That's of obviously it's a lie. These uh, these things are coming from confessions, and the confessions are not mine. They are anonymous from people I don't know. And then the ones I know from um, Instagram, they use pseudo accounts, like fake accounts. They create an account and then they inbox me with the confessions, and I post their confessions. But beyond that, it's dream too. It's just the few that I know. Yeah. All right. So um, you said that Ulianza ku weka easy stories are confessions a while back, yeah. you know. And uh, I think earlier you told me as well that there are some how ku me post ya watu, right? Mm -hmm. So nini ni me kufanya sasa like you decided to also share those stories right now. 
Well, I have a friend who's living positively, and uh, her story pushed me to uh, giving people this platform of opening up, confessing, and telling me, you know, this is what I'm going through. So through her story, I got the courage to post uh, the confessions that, um, these confessions, by the way, Niza Kitambo, it's not just like uh, Niza Juzi. They have been there like, uh, let's say, six months, Ivo. But the recent ones, once I posted those ones as a kitambo, ndo watu wapi ya wakanza kusema zao. So I can say the, the, um, the, the, the motivation behind this is a friend of mine who's living positively. Yeah. So like you saw um, what she's been going yeah. through? Yeah. yeah, she pushed me to go, 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 go tell people out there what is happening. Go tell them this is what is happening. This is the world we are living in. Nilipata is sickness through you know, engaging in, um, yeah, so this is what is happening, go tell them. She pushed me, so I will say I was motivated by her mm -hmm. to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so some of these stories, you know, people have been giving you very, very deep confessions. Which one has shocked you the most? I mean, come on, all of them are shocking already, but I'm sure kwa zako kona zenye. Ni worse than what we have no, said. I have not even posted the worst confessions yet. I have about like 10 of them. Okay, there's this one that really got me. This lady is, um, she got an infection that is HPV. And then, alikapata kakwa positive. And then, her womb was used for rituals. This is a deep um, confession that really got me crying. It's really deep because um, when she's narrating it, you could feel, you could tell this lady is not okay. But uh, what's the best I can, do, I can do is just advising, telling her maybe I know one, two, three people that can help you. Go to this um, hospital, go to this, go, go get counseling, Ivo too. So, iso tu vitu kidogo kidogo tu za kusaidia. How do you deal, you know, with all that burden, you know, what to cook your stories out? And it's it's a lot, you know, it's just like having uh going to a therapist, women dump here all your emotions, they actually wanna backing in a year uzito. So they need to go see another therapist to unload all this. How are you dealing with it? Honestly speaking, it's very heavy on my side. It's weighing me down. Sometimes I need to focus on other things, but uh Upon hearing his story, unakwazileza, hey, let me take time to read this. And uh, there's nothing much I can give, unajua. I'm just going to advise you, let's do this. Or maybe let me connect you to someone who can help you. Mentally, mm -hmm. I'm not okay. Reading those stories, they are traumatizing. So if I put my mind on it, I really need, I'm motivated, I really need to help this person. I need to go to get out of my way to help this person. Zinani way down. I'm not even focusing on the most important things. My daily to daily uh, routine, I'm not because of the stories. Are you looking for any, you know, mental therapy? Are you seeing a counselor? Are you seeing anyone to help you with it? <laughs> Talking to my friends only, it's enough therapy. <laughs> They are those guys. Yeah. They help me. I just call them, hey, Mimi, ni mefini, kanaskia, hivi, na hivi, and they help me. But, uh, from, apart from that, I, there's a person I talk to, she, he's not um, a counsellor or anything, but uh, she's an advocate of a certain NGO company. She's helping me, she's telling me why, when you're reading these stories, don't put your whole mind on it. Just uh, read them and repost. If you focus on those stories, zita ku affect. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> per se, I really need therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will get you therapy. Alright, so, um, unajua kuna watu... There are people who will say all sorts of things. Kunawatu, they are saying that um, these stories are not real. Kwanza kuna, there's this comedian by the name Alex Mathenge. He's a, a public, a media personality. Alisema, yeah, how only come as these stories in Ukweli. And I'm, I'm sure he is not the only person who thinks that, that these stories, umejiandikia, upost uko, and you get, you know, traction for your for your page, traction for your business or something like that. So, Ebu, tell us about that. I really, I, I think I really have a brain because if I'm to do those stories uh, for myself, I would have done it the moment I started posting uh, NGL um, stories on Instagram. So 
they are not fake. I can't hire 10,000 people to write their story. I can't open 10,000 accounts to fake a story. If I was to do trends, I think uh, the first time when I trended for City Girls, that would have been the thing for me. The stories are not fake. Uh, the confessions are very real. The recent ones, I can say maybe most people were exaggerating, like, oh, I've slept with 100 people, I've transmitted this thing to 100 people. And I was just reposting them. And these accounts, uh, you can go through my Instagram and see those are accounts, they are there. It's not something made up. And under NGL, when you send, I can't know who you, who you are, obviously. It's anonymous. I can't, I can't tell. So the stories out there, they are real. It took me, um, let's say, the story, uh, th those confessions are about like six months ago, but I have the recent ones, which I mixed Nikazi, Nikazi post Zote. The recent ones, Kwanza, they are worse than the past ones. And I have about uh, 1,039 that Sija post Bado. And I'm scared of posting these things. I don't know that, you know, have you seen the impact to my letter? Now I'm really scared of, uh, should I go ahead with this or should I just cancel the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Do you think that there are people who are actually exaggerating some of these stories? Uh, I think so. But uh, I can say they are positive, but um, they are overdoing it. Like, because uh, um, when you are infected, when you you have the virus, it's simple. You are under medication, so so you cannot tell me you've been uh, uh, not taking your medis, uh, your drugs now umepewa to your kitu. So unless you're not consistent with your medication, then pa very sure you are transmitting it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think kuna watu tu wame exaggerate just for unajua kushtua watu wapa na pale. Yeah. Right. So when people give you these confessions, is there any kind of advice you offer? Do you encourage them? Is there anything you do for them really? Uh -huh. uh, sasa unapataga most of the time when I'm um, getting these confessions on my inbox, uh, for NGL, I can't say anything about that because Nazi repost too, it's anonymous. But these ones that text me with uh, pseudo accounts and uh, inbox me with their real uh, accounts, they tell me, I always t try to take my time and advise them and tell them, I know of a person, go to this hospital, go to this person, go get counseling, evil. Now, our advice to Kidogo, but beyond that, I can't do anything. I can't tell you, utapona. I can't tell you, go to this pastor, kumbe utapona. I just advise them, motivate them, encourage them, just keep going. Be consistent with your medicine, usiache. Don't give up, but yeah, mi nataka tu kwa chana na madawa, nata, nataka kuenda. So, mm -hmm. Okay, um, you know, like we said, this is a trending, a trending story, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone will give opinions and um, their takes on different things. And I came across this post from Chris Kirwa who was saying that um, we need to show kids or maybe teenagers or young adults images, like graphic images of um, what an STI will do to you, you know? Vile mm -hmm. Because I, 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 I think I also saw some of these things um, back in the day. Like, you know, you have a mental picture of this is what it will do to me if I don't protect myself when I am engaging in certain behaviors, right? So do you think that is right? The younger people, you know, as they grow and as they start to get to explore on these things, are we supposed to show them some of these images? If you do not use protection, then there is a high possibility that this will happen. Other than pregnancy, we have this thing that will happen to you. Well, I think the first thing um, they should, uh, our generation should start, or the, um, they should introduce uh, counseling in um, institutions like um, universities, high school, uh, primary schools, EVO. But uh, beyond that, now I, I believe me as a teenager or a youth, Nikisha Pata counseling, I, it's upon me. I've been given the counseling. Yeah. So I will go back uh, online, Google, and look HPV in a mm -hmm. HIV, signs and symptoms of HIV. Yeah. Signs and symptoms of HPV. Mm -hmm. The happy is the genital words in a mm -hmm. 
it's not upon the counseling to follow up ukoaje umeona nini it's upon you now so i think um, more advice should be given in these institutions our counselors wapelekwe huko wasaidie unajua kuna ule atasikia na kuna ule mwenye ata ignore but uh, it's upon you now it's upon our generation gen z tujipange wenyewe because you can we cannot kuna wazazi wenye they don't have these platforms of uh, social media they are busy working na kuna wale they are not um, well learned to teach their kids even if indo image ya um, graphic images za uh, HPV HIV na HIV these things we were th taught back in school uh, tukiwa shule tulikuwa tunaonyeshwa hiyo part ya adult uh, nini adolescence tulikuwa tunaonyeshwa 1 2 3 uki uki lala na mtu bila condom this is what you'll get but right now everything is uh, uh, so it's upon you there are parents who do not even have access to the internet. I wanna see when you I wanna tell WhatsApp. Actually, most of our parents they, they they don't want anything to do with social media. They believe social media is for this generation. Wow, wako busy kutafuta kazi kufanya apa na pale kutafutia. So utapata mzazi ana kukalisha chini. Eti ebo angalia even vo uki fanya ibi even vo kutaka ni advice tu watatupatia. Na ku advice jichunge ukitoka uko inje. That's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now that you know your platform has grown bigger and you are in this public space, what do you plan to do with this space? What do you plan to do with the numbers that you have to help these people who have been affected or to offer counseling? What are you doing? Well, um, let me start by saying uh, before all this, I was motivated by someone, and uh, some few people were involved. In this so right now I am uh, on the process of registering an organization that will help these um, people that are stigmatized um, more of abused these people who don't know after this where do I go how do I face life and um, but right now apart from the organization uh, before that comes, we are still uh, we are doing something else to help these people. Even though we don't, I don't have like um, a company under it. I have a platform, and a uh, few people have uh, have approached me on a way on ways uh, to help these people. And I believe uh, through my platform, one, two, three, we will help people. Yeah. And we told our audience that is why we are here today. You know, we are here to see someone who has been affected by you know. A uh, chronic UTI, which we'll be seeing much later. So, what is your advice to people out here? Of course, people need to be very, very serious about, you know, being protected when you're doing stuff. My advice first goes to this uh, this Gen Z generation. Uh, it's really high time you take your life serious. You can do anything you want, but caution. Be very careful. You don't know who you meet. You don't know what you will engage in. Just be very, just, uh, just the way doctors give you prescription and you take, you decide to take it serious or not. So, um, condomize and abstain from sexual immoralities. Preach, girl. Say it abstain again. Abstain from sexual immoralities. All right. So, um, cartoon comedian, she did a certain video showing what their plans were with you know <laughs> their, uh, her girls wanataka kwenda out kuna vitu wanataka kufanya you know in a you saw that in a traditional kwa life ya city girl pia so tell us a bit about i think i also got to learn about you on that video so tell us about that and what your thoughts on that video are well i think uh, cartoon comedian alikuwa anajaribu tu ku highlight the whole story the whole uh, trending, the whole thing that was happening has been happening and was and still happening on uh, social media. So yeah, yeah, as a um, comedian she is, um, alitaka her videos, ifikie kuna wale wako misinformed na informed. So alitaka to that, creating that is to alert those ones when you have a jui, when you have what's going on on social media, when you want to share to those people who, who have never even been to social media. And I think she's right in so many ways. 
that is city girls. City girls, uh, our life is basically all about partying, drinking, traveling. Could you spoil too? Wababa, life ya wababa. Unajotu city girls ni life ya wababa. It's only the smart, bravest people that come out of that. Wanaji build. So cartoon comedian, she's so right with everything. And uh, let me say, the highlight of it is that uh, nataka mjichunge, kuna message na peana hapo. Nataka mjichunge. Tunajua tunafanya ngaizi vitu. Tutaenda out. Maybe tutalewa on the process to bebwe. Nataka mjichunge. Alitumia jina kasema kondo what? Condomize. And that's the whole thing. The whole point of this story is condomize. As much as you're going to practice sexual immoralities, condomize. So, umesema ni city girls wa janja peke yake wanezanga kujitoa kwa your life. So, umeza kujitoa kwa your life and you are doing something good with your life. Eh hey, well unajua hizi vitu una, una ukikwa tu mjanja kwa streets akili ya shule sio akili streets bana if you are smart enough kwa streets utapenya so for me i maneuvered nilipata wa, nilikuwa na step na, nilipata mtu wa kunipea steps akaniambia nitakuonyesha hii 1 2 3 and uh, from my advices ni experiences zangu my friends and my family members and uh, people very close to me. So for me to go out there and start a city girl thing, actually I'm the one who started it. So me kutoka hapo nje kwambia city girls hivi ndivyo kuko hapa ndo unaenda upate mbaba hapa ndo unaenda uangukie husband, uangukie potential unajua or even more of destiny helpers unajua. Na nirudi nikwambie eh nikubaya huku nje is because nime experience nimeletewa the cases with even the people i know mmekuja na sema eh mama mimi nilienda hivi nje nika mess na saa hii sidhani kama nataka kutoka nje kufanya hizi vitu na ku advise na kuambia tu hapo penye kama umefikia hiyo point just leave it change life yako to this thing so if i'm preaching what and i'm drinking wine and i come nilikuwa na preach uh, wine naanza kunywa maji i think if you're smart enough you're able to tell she has reasons as to why i'm a change mm -hmm. yeah. can you repeat that last point again if i was drinking water and uh, i was drinking wine and i started preaching water and i changed to drinking water preaching wine if you are smart enough as a city girl or even any other woman out there, you would ask yourself, what are the reasons as to why this woman, this lady, the city girl leader, I may change to this. Nakuja na kwambia, this is what is happening right now. Jichungeni, as much as you continue with what you're doing, take caution. Yeah. Right. Okay, so um, this story, unajua, imekamna both haters and lovers but because watu wako a little bit misinformed i would say that most of the people ni wenye wana troll you know um thinking the worst of you even without knowing who you are right mm -hmm. so what impact has this these stories these confessions this kind of information about you what impact has it had on you as a person unasikianga tu ever have you ever been tormented i feel like I mean that cage Naskia Niko tormented is like I'm having demons. I'm facing this, I'm fighting this, I'm facing uh, you know, keyboard warriors wakopale. Acha our just so much story wamesha sema. Uh Kemunto meet the lady who's uh, who has slept with fifty men and still spreading HIV and AIDS. But that was not the whole thing. The people that were there from the time this uh, this NGL uh, anonymous story started, they are able to tell these are confessions from people. I was reposting the confessions. They are not my own confessions. I mean, tell me, na ingiaje life na nzaku se maniko na uke dini me sambazi awa to fifty. How? So people should. Uh, Stop getting information that is not right. You are so misinformed. Kama kuna kitu welewi, you just come. Una inbox, ama una inbox mtu mwingine. And I think nimepata hizo trolls mingi kwa TikTok. Kwanza ndo zinaenda most. Nilikuwa napigiwa, hey, so ni wewe unasambaza. Ma comments tu pale pale, ati ni karembo, lakini kumbe kamebeba. And I'm like, ata zini umi sana. What hurts me is, uh, what if this reach the loved ones my loved ones my friends are okay with that but i have a mom i have a sister i have a brother i have a maybe 
maybe I will have a boyfriend na social media doesn't forget. Unapata mtu anaanza kuambia nao twende tutesti wewe. Maybe you'll have kids. Maybe I'll have kids and uh, eventually watakuja kuangalia hizi vitu social media. Unaingia hapo kwa Google Kemunto unasikia Kemunto with the HIV. Like stop get, uh, carrying the information that you're not sure about. Stop carrying information, spreading information that you're not sure about, please. Yeah, it's affecting me. I'm also human. Okay. Um, so, like I said earlier, we are here to visit, you know, someone who has been affected by um, an STI for a very long time. So, I'd like to know, how did you learn about this person? Is it from your stories? How did they reach out to you? And what are your plans for this person? <sighs> okay, this is, um, you know, when these things... Um, escalated i was getting a lot of tags na kwa tu tagged hapa na mi kazi ni ku repost but i don't know what really happened the um, the person we are, we just came to see the girlfriend was tagging me like several times na ku tag na ku tag usipona na tag tena usipona na tag tena so it got to a point that this person i'm seeing mentions on instagram on my request message request no not to my tags my tags so i went and uh, nikafungua and then i saw a message like please please i don't want to lose him please please help me even if you won't help me personally just connect me to someone who can help him i don't want to lose my boyfriend then i asked what is the problem she sent me some uh, papers medical um, papers and she she was like uh, my boyfriend has a chronic qti and it has been in the body for the past one and a half year and so I got interested, I, po I reposted the story and um, I just felt like I really need to come and see this person because he and the girlfriend are the only people that came out to say I really need help apart from these people who, are, who just want advice and to be sent to some counseling and um, those um, people to help. But uh, this one, financially, was unstable. So even if I repost, even if I advise, it won't change the situation. So I, ha I had to avail myself and come here and uh, see what we can do, do a fundraising or something. Yeah. Okay, so you plan to do a fundraising for him? Yeah, I have few friends and um, they will help me, but uh, if you Kenyans want to help, please, uh, I have a pay bill, you can come in and uh, let's help the guy. Do you mind sharing the pay bill details? Um, kidogo ni mesahau, but I have the mercy. Sorry. Honestly, I need support. I really need people. I can't do this alone. I, we need to help him. And, um, yeah, I can share my, the pay bill uh, details. Go ahead. Of course, uh, it's equity pay bill account is uh, 247247. And then uh, account is 7770 Four two, two eight four six nine. Right. So thank you so much for sharing with us. Uh, I appreciate the platform that you've offered me. Uh, you know, it's an easy way for people, for news to reach people, and for those ones who are misinformed to get to at least get the point. So Asante uh, Sana, and I appreciate you coming here. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you as well. Thank you, Kenyans. Ninini, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have heard from Kemunto herself. You know, she is not what everybody thinks she is. So stop spreading um, false information. Jua kitu kwanza yenye una spread out there. And she's a lovely lady, and I hope we can support her in helping all these people who have been affected by, you know, chronic diseases, chronic, UC, uh, chronic UTIs, chronic um, STIs, and even HIV, you know, um, getting to partner with her so that she can come out and, you know, as idea wa tuenyo meshindwa kujukubali pia as well. So I want to take you guys uh, to go see the man that we had come to visit today. So come with me. So guys, tuko hapa, tumekuja kuona a guy by the name Paul. Uh, like, I had, like I had told you earlier, he has a chronic um, UTI. So we're just here to see how the situation is. Yeah, with Kemunto. So Kemunto, let's see. Yeah, let's go and see him. Paul, ukwaje? Mambo. Ukwaje? 
huku watu wanasalimiana ajeni hizi ya nani hivi ni bosnia asante sana so yeah tuongoze okay mm go quiet Okay so tumefika hapa kuona Paul and atakuwa anatuambia what is going on in his life and reason why tumekuja kumuona Paul ukwaje yes, niko poa uh-huh. mm, quite some problems too Okay so ningetaka ujulisha watu wewe ni nani unajua nimewaambia wewe ni Paul lakini wajulishe tena kidogo Okay I'm Paul Rioba mm-hmm. Emotara uh, mimi ni mtu tu hustler like niko taona hustle mm-hmm. but uh, nimekuwa nime kwa shida mingi so um, mm-hmm. they are here to help me mm-hmm. yeah, okay yeah. so t- ukisema shida ni shida gani umepitia okay nikikumbuka like mm-hmm. it was like last year february date 6 mm-hmm. hapo nilikuwa nili involved by the i have a girlfriend so like tulikutana na girlfriend yangu we did hiyo uh, kitu inafanywa kwa love obvious you know and kwenda like two to three days like i felt bad nikasenza kujisikia uchungu after nikitoka naenda short call like hivyo so nika realize kuna kuna kitu iko sawa hapa like nika jipeleka mwenyewe hosi nikaenda nikapima nikaambiwa it's a uti mm-hmm. so after kuambiwa it's a uti like nika okay nikapewa drugs nikatumia lakini after kutumia nilipewa drugs za five days after like kutumia i could change i could change like nikasema mm, what's this nikarudi same same place wakanibadilishia dawa na pesa tena wakaniomba like hivyo like sasa ikakuwa ngumu kwangu bado siku hali haikubadilika mm-hmm. like nikatoka tena nikaamua ku move on na hospitali nyingine after ku move on nikaenda kwa hospitali like wakanitibu do siku pona so after kutibiwa hapo siku pona wakaniambia nitafanywa kitu inaitwa urine culture and sensitivity nipatiwe dawa strong zenye zitendana na hiyo bacteria like ziwe hiyo bacteria kufanywa urine culture sensitivity bado haikuwa fit like nikaandikiwa drugs the seven days like after kuandikiwa hizo drugs by then expensive sindano moja ilikuwa 1700 imini pene so nikabai zote nilijikaza nikauza sim siku lipa vitu zingine nikabai drugs after kubai like nikadungwa zote na some other tablets zenye nilipewa do siku pona bado like nikarudi same same place yenye nimefanywa culture ikafanywa tena kwa mara ya pili so aliamua kuni offer free kwa sababu nimekuwa mtaja wao like ugonjwa umenisukuma hivyo mm. like ni after ku offer free wakanipatia tena drugs so zilikuwa zinaitwa i think uh, micasin tena expensive pia bado siku kuwa sawa like nikaambiwa sasa you should move wende kwa district hospital yenye ni kubwa like siku na do by the na kuna kitu like mama hizi provide babangu hizi provide like ni ngumu okay mama anaweza provide lakini kuna ile kidogo ile yenye atakwambia ni hivi na hivi na hivi so like kwa wale mnaelewa like natoka kwa humble background so wakanipatia hizo roho ni kama ku move on tena kwenda kwa hiyo hospitali kufika pale like nikatibiwa tu nikatibiwa kwanza nilipelekwa nikapigwa x-ray like nikaambiwa sasa UTI like inapanda imepanda kuja like inaingia kwa kidneys like um, ik, like nikakuwa shocked eh kakuwa ile like mnapoteza um, sasa hapa kidneys zangu then what's next ni kukufa like nikaogopa mm-hmm. nikakaa hivyo nikatibiwa hapo by the kutibiwa siku pona so nika get one of my friend akaniambia sasa we should move out twende pale tafuta herbal medicines mm-hmm. herbal ndo nimekunywa nilikunywa 40 liters ya kwanza 40 liters na nikamaliza asubuhi saa saba jioni asubuhi sasa kila siku hadi saa zingine anaambiwa ni kunywe tu kama maji. Kubaliza 40 liters bado chafu. Like nime ugumu ikakuwa. Sasa ikafiki ile situation like nikienda short call. Like nasikia vibaya eh. Unaenda short call ukilia. So nikaanza kutumia painkillers. Gas painkillers ndo na mezanga. Time na feel like vibaya vibaya nikimaliza hizo painkillers ndo naenda short call maybe. Ilifika situation hadi sasa like ukienda ile haja kubwa like ime change so these parts za kidney zinaniuma sana like hivyo mgongo sasa like inaniumanga mm-hmm. hadi sasa hivi vile nimemaliza hizo pain killers mm-hmm. mgongo inaniuma hapa kwa abdomen like inaniuma it reaches a time by that and i lose appetite ya kukula like uti imekuwa ile kali like haiishi na tibiwa like ina resist drugs mm-hmm. nimejaribu pote nimejaribu pote like nimeenda like hadi hizo maskanning zote hakuna nyenye sijapitia like nimeenda zote hakuna by the drugs zote like yoyote nyuta google strongest zenye nimetumia like ni penicillin amikacin meropenem 
Umetumia drugs. Zingine na kabisa na zijua zenye daktari na zanyoneshi hivi ni kwambia ni metumia. Mm. Nimetumia, eh, like nimeenda over around 30 times hospital. Okay. Eh, nimemaliza karibu county hospitals zote. Eh, mm -hmm. eh, hadi nimechoka. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, Iyo process yote ukifanyo culture. Of course, na jua culture unachukuliwa discharge, unayekewa, inayekwa for three days. Eh, yeah. Alafu ndo ito onyesha kwa nini shida yako ni gani. Eh. Uli, like, Ulifanywa scan? Ya, yeah, nilifanywa scan. Na scan ilionyesha ishu ni nini? Scan ilionyesha iti issues. Like, au sasa like, unona like, si kidney ndoi. Like, mm. kunio tube flani yoyu reta nye naingia kwa kidney. So like, ni kaa kuna mm, wadudu flani wa mikujua meattach kwa hiyo wall. Mm -hmm. Like, wanakule hiyo wall. Ni kapewa adidawa, doa ziku function. Mm -hmm. Niliandikiwa strongest drugs. Like, kenye nilikuwa nadungwa, na kosa hadi ile nguvu hadi ya kuongea. Like, nasikia ni kane za zimia. Mm. Mm na hospital yenye ulienda waliku offer gynecologist eh yeah, nisha yenda kwa hiyo like gynecologist yeah. Yeah. nilienda kwake yeah. kani advice akaniambia alinipea pia drugs akaniambia ni kunywe maji most mm -hmm. so like unajua kuona hiyo gyn gynecologist like mm -hmm. unaombwa do yeah. i offered money eh yeah. eh yeah. hiyo consultation by the way ilikuwa 2000 i think tulikuwa tunamwona na 2k so nilijikaza nika offer like niliomba omba nika offer kwenda pale still akaniambia endo kunywa maji mingi sijui nina kanipea na drugs nikakuja nikakunywa still bado like imefikia ile situation baka na mwa mwenyewe niseme at least niambie other youths things mm -hmm. like zina happen hapa nje vitu ni ngumu mm -hmm. like easy disease ziko by the end kuna zenye ni ngumu zina rika unatibua zina rika like ni ngumu mm -hmm. eh, kutibika inakuwa ngumu baki nafika situation wa mwenyewe unaanza sasa kuweka ile imagination sasa next kitu iko ni wewe ukufe mm -hmm. unaanza kuishi like life plan ngumu like when ni stress, enu ni stress tu kuna stress time yote. So imekufikisha mahali penye mpaka unasikia. Yeah. Kuna feel uko suicidal because how party. Yeah, but like tiba, ma, ma, matibabu. Eh yeah, sasa hakuna matibabu mm -hmm. kwa sababu ukiangalia there is no money mm -hmm. and hakuna mm -hmm. pia ni ngumu so kuna ile tu mimi like kitu ilikuwa kwa mind yangu niongoje tu nione kitu itani happenia next. Mm -hmm. Sasa I think since February. Hey, ni one and a half years, mm. I think. Na yeah. iyo period ya nyume kwa mgonjo, wa milikuwa mna engage na girlfriend ya? No, uh, suna ya nyaligundua mini msik, mm -hmm. aliniambia, haku niacha by the. Mm -hmm. Lini advice haka niambia, babe, it's this way. Like sasa, wende lea kupokea matibabu, lakini, adi wemo nyo ilapi, ya mflani inaisha. Mm -hmm. Unasema san, mbona nifanyi hivi muingine. Mm -hmm. eh, so, ika potea lipotea like akani advise akaniambia yeah, like ye yeah, ukujanga by the sometimes home anakuja she advises me very well like and uh, sometimes hata kipata i mean na nileta vitu most zenye it all best anga mimi naambia tumie hii one even it even like mm. yeah. na from her end kuna anything yenye imemhapenia azi i heni na shtuka ye yeah, uko sawa like mm. she is very good hadi nakumbuka last check up ilikuwa last week mm -hmm. eh yeah alikuwa amelipwa alikuwa amepokea mshahara so aliamua kwenda check up like kwenda she is good akufit hadi mimi nashangaanga like why tunaelewa unajua bodies react different that's yeah. true so kuna wale wata take 6 months ndo anze kuona signs za urinary mm -hmm. tract infections mm -hmm. yeah. but sasa yako ili happened immediately yeah like after 3 so eh, eh so fast le nikashanga nikashanga okay, sasa sa unge taka tukusaidia aje yeah. cause umeenda ma hospital nyingi mm -hmm. zenye ume mention 1 2 3 umepita pita mm -hmm. umepewa ma medicines zenye the most expensive and the most uh, zile zina work yeah. so wewe unge ungependelea tukusaidia aje yeah, it's yeah, yeah it's this way like after kuona kimuntu's story like zime trend by the east africa i think kila mtu sasa ana juu story so after kuona there, like, ni kwanza Thabitha ndali ni text, hakanambia, babe, ni mwona something pale kwa social media kemuntu, mm -hmm. I think watu wengine wanasaidika pale. Hakanambia, utani alao ni kweke public. Ni kamambia, yes, weka public. Like after kuweka, ndo I think akadiemu wanyewe director driver, kamuuliza ni hivi na hivi. Like sasa ili ya kureach out at least uambia public what mm -hmm. you are going through mm -hmm. like wanu tasaidika aje. Mm -hmm. Yeah financially an, ni kwa unstable mm -hmm. like pia sometimes uneza pata ideas how to fight these things mm -hmm. like pia uneza pia kujeka hivyo like uneza saidia wengine. Maybe kuna mtu pali kama 
leka tujui lakini anapitia shida kama yangu mm-hmm. so we are here to help people like venye mmekuja hivi at least mmenisho love yeah. mmenisho love so it's like ni nyinyi mnisaidie sasa mimi nipate usaidizi juu mm-hmm. nikoshwa watu wako different mm-hmm. naweza pata huyu daktari maybe alikupea hii dawa maybe kuna mtu asha experience something like that na akapona mm. true dok- daktari mwingine so like kama kuna mtu ananitazama hapo nje like ushaipata shida kama hii maybe uka, unaweza ni reach out kwa social media yangu ni jedi rodiam hiyo ni instagram j a d e i t e alafu r h o d i u m z jedi rodiam lakini tiktok na jita rio batizi r i o b a alafu hiyo hash hiyo na ni fulani alafu alafu z like kwa wale wenye mko hapo nje lakini juke mtopia kwa hapa i think she will help me like nipate usaidizi mm-hmm. naumia sana naumia silali like hivyo mhm um, usaidizi utapata but uh, hebu nilize bado una experience discharge uh, pain while urinating mhm sana like as in nafikia tile same like mm-hmm. ukisikia ile haja kubwa mm-hmm e spinal cord inauma in like eh uh, eh so inauma so kuna time hata mind sometimes juu na kuanga aje like uh-huh. utakaa tu hivi ushangae ulilala like ujigundui yani uh-huh. like ni ugonjwa fulani so yeah. eh hiyo ndo shida like main kubwa napitia okay mm. mentally ime ku affect aje eh like ime ni affect mentally uh-huh. sana uh-huh. like sai niko stressful siwezi fanya kitu na sai siezi like mimi niko tu kwa nyumba like mind yangu in a ring place too like nasema what god next sasa ni kifo mm-hmm. eh, like naogopa nimeogopa sana like mm-hmm. naogopa eh. after sa ku reach out kemu tozi ndo at least they showed me love wakakuja mm-hmm. like ndo hawa wamekuja they are here with me like hivyo so at least na get proud at least sasa niko na ile like, uh, kitu fulani nasema hapa naweza pona so hivyo mm-hmm. eh. okay yeah. kuna daktari yote amekwambia like something unaweza fanya kumaliza hii you know UTI kabisa kabisa maybe ni pesa imekulemea or something imekulemea doctors are reaching me mm-hmm. like adi see doctors when you like after kuweka public watu wame reach out wengi na receive calls sana so mm-hmm. adi wengine wananiambia kunywa maji garlic si wengine wanani advice vitu most sana so kuna ile vitu vingine umefanya mtu anakuwa advice same same thing yenye umefanya mm-hmm. unaona huyu hapa na like mm-hmm. sasa yeah. Lakini yeah. kuna I think do, doctors wame ni reach lakini mtu akiku reach out anakuambia ti ndio muone itichukua consultation money like 1500 so like you are like umeomba msaada sasa mm. tena how comes anakuambia ndio nione na hii do like yeah. una, eh. okay mm. right so kama uko hapo nje and you would like to help um Rioba Paul Rioba in any way um Kemunto had already talked about you know having a uh, Uh, a way that you can assist mm-hmm. her to help people like um Paul Rioba who are going through these things. Na kama uko hapo nje maybe you, you are going around spreading around diseases because you have umeshindwa kujitoa kwa hiyo kitu unataka revenge and everything you know um you can talk to Kemunto and she will find a way um to help you k- get you counseling through her foundation and so many things. Otherwise asante sana Paul and yes. we hope that you know utapata usaidizi as soon yeah. as possible. Yeah, asante ni sana guys.